Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements and today we've got this nice little entertainment piece that we're gonna bring back to life and show how it can be done. So follow along. My supervisor will be here also to help me. <laughs> All right, we see these types of projects all the time at garage sales on Craigslist, and they don't sell very well, so the price is very low on these to pick up. But it's got a lot of cool design to it, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna change it and bring it back to life, more modern-like, so it will sell in today's, well, in today's uh, furniture market. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all the hardware, pull all the drawers out, make sure all the subframes all good. Got our handy dandy tools here. Um, inside the drawers here, <clears throat> we're gonna leave this all as is, it's in good quality. We're just gonna tape it off, paint the outside here after we sand it. So let's get it torn apart so we can start sanding. Everybody's favorite part, right? Do you wanna take it from here, dog? No? We're at a point where we can start sanding this thing down. Got my DeWalt sander, 80 grit sandpaper. We're gonna do all the straight areas, which isn't too much on this piece. So once we've done that, we'll take the paper off, the sandpaper off, and do all the decor pieces or anything that I can't do with the hand sander here. So it's gonna be more hand sanding than actual machine, machine sanding, but that's okay. It's a smaller project. Everything looked good, everything's structurally sound, so. Let's get the sanding so we can start painting and making this piece look pretty cool at the end. And my supervisor is currently taking a nap, so this is a good opportunity to get some work done without having somebody boss me around. <laughs> All right, it is all wiped down, vacuumed off. Everything is in good condition, so no structural damage, which is, <laughs> makes life a lot easier. I usually check these things quite, uh, quite a bit when I buy the pieces, so I know I'm not getting into any surprises, but every once in a while, you may find a surprise or two. But today, we got lucky. So, we're gonna paint the drawers, the doors, the drawers, and the frame twice, and then we'll do our uh, vintage statements look which is just a nice little scuff to the piece I always like that design look with the black with the scuffs through it, it sells really well too so start with the drawers or the doors drawers frame and let's get started oh yeah <laughs> bare prime and paint it's uh, called blackout and it is I think this is a, a, a flat or a satin
All right, we've got it painted. It's dried for a couple hours, so what we're gonna do is scratch it up. Now some of you might like the solid black and don't wanna uh, scratch it up or anything like that. So you can kind of skip the step of sanding and go right to the next step, which would be to wax it. But for us, we're gonna put a little scuff marks on this, give it our own little signature. I've got the same paper, sand, same, same sandpaper that I used to sand this thing down and we're gonna use it just to scuff it up a little bit. We're gonna do some edges, just a little bit of uh, detail work on it, and then we can start uh, waxing this piece. So let's get started. Get into the final steps here. We're gonna start waxing. We're gonna use this uh, wax that we get at Home Depot. Nice little beeswax, uh, old sock. I put a glove on too. Don't need to. Doesn't hurt your hands or anything. But let's start with the big frame here and work our way around to the drawers and the doors. The project is complete. Nice little entertainment center. Now, from the beginning to end, only took about two and a half hours. Not too much paint, not too much work. If you got some sandpaper and paintbrush and, and your favorite color, you can knock this out in one day on the weekend. Well, my supervisor has checked it over and really does like the end product of this. So that means I will probably get paid for this project. Will I? Okay, you probably will keep the money for dog treats. So. It's a blackout black. We waxed it. We left the inside of the doors the natural color just to give it a nice little pop. So if you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. And, uh, well, my supervisor reads them every day and lets me know the goods and the bads that, that I'm doing. So keep coming up with those good ones. So my supervisor uh, leaves me alone a little bit. Hope you guys have a great day. Ready for another project?